Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about ellipses and what they are and how they work. So let's draw an ellipse that has a longer horizontal radius first. So here we have an ellipse. Let's call this A and this B, where A is this distance and B is this distance. Further, let's mark two foci over here and over here. Foci are symmetric. Um, on either side of the axis. Um, and this is vertex 1 and this is vertex 2. Now, the distance on any point in this ellipse is some of the distances from the foci are constant. You've heard that very often, but that's a confusing statement. So I'm going to break that down a little bit by using a particular point. So if you take this point, the distance from foci 1 to this point, we could perhaps call d1. And the distance from foci 2 to this point we could call d2. By definition, d1 plus d2 is constant. That's the definition of an ellipse. An ellipse is the collection of all points where d1 plus d2 is the same, where d1 is the distance from foci 1 to the point, and d2 is the distance from foci 2 to that same point. So if d1 plus d2 is constant, we should be able to get the same distance from the foci at any point in the ellipse. So let's, for instance, now take vertex 2. The distance from focus 2 to vertex 2, let's call that d3. Um, and the distance from focus 1 to vertex 2, um, I'll mark it over here in blue, this distance over here, let's call that d4. So from what we just said, d3, d3 plus d4, d4, have to equal d1 plus d2. But you can see over here that d3 plus d4 is also equal to 2a, because this is a and this is a, and d3 plus d4 is the entire horizontal axis. So that's the proof, the basic proof for why d1 plus d2 is equal to 2a, right? Now, let's look at that one more time. So d1 plus d2 is equal to 2a, a plus a. But we know that d1 and d2 are equal. Now, I know my figure's not very good, but d1 and d2 are, um, in this particular case, because the foci is symmetric about the, the, the central axis, um, d1 is equal to d2. So, if d1 is equal to d2, and d1 plus d2 is equal to 2a, then we know that d1 is equal to a. And that's the key to solving our ellipse uh, equation for the, for the focal distance. So now we know that this is a, this is b, and b1 is also a. So I could just replace this, I could just write an a over there, b1 is a. Now, this distance over here, we can call C, this distance right here. That's the distance from the center of the ellipse to the focus. It's also called the focal distance. So from this, you know from the Pythagorean theorem that B squared plus C squared is equal to A squared, or D1 squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. B squared plus C squared equals a squared, because A is also D1 over here. This can also be um, written as, very often the way it's written, as C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. And that's the way to find the focal distance in an ellipse. C squared equals A squared minus B squared. If you have a, uh, an ellipse that's vertically aligned, then that equation becomes C squared equals b squared minus a squared. Okay, so that's ellipses. We're going to do hyperbola next.